Guys, look at this. <laughs> look at this. I am so grateful for this milestone. This could not have happened. Just, just understand, this could not have happened if it wasn't for you. And I want to do something. I want to give you something back. I want to give you a free version of four packs. I have three copies that I want to give away. And I, I really want you to understand how this is important because you guys made this happen. So how do you get your free copy out of three? Are you busy on the 28th of March? It's not this coming Sunday, it's the one after. If you're not busy and you want your copy or chance to win a copy, why don't you do these things? It's very simple. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please do it now. Please do it now and hit that little bell so you will be notified with any new video that I will provide. Two, check out my new Twitter account. Follow me and then private message me because that way we can be discreet and it was just between you and me. Send me your full name and your full email address and then just fingers crossed your name will come up in the new draw on Sunday the 28th of March. Once your name is picked up, hopefully it's going to be yours, you will get an email from Borpax letting you know how to get your license and subscription to the amazing software Borpax. Good luck to you guys. Really good luck to you guys. And if your name is not picked up on this giveaway, don't worry. There's going to be more giveaways down the road. You want to see another game? Until that draw, let's go and watch Century Age of Ashes. It's beautiful. Love you guys. Century Age of Ashes. What a good looking game. So this one is in closed beta and it was in closed beta until Monday, but then the weekend went so great for them that they have decided to extend the time on the, the registration. So if you want to apply for this beta and get it or not, but hopefully get it, I will leave it in the description below. I would leave a link on the Steam store so you can apply for it and hopefully you'll get it. Now I've played it on the screen on 2D and it's basically a co-op game. You play six versus six and I suck at playing co-op games because uh, people just, they're, they're so good. I, I'm really not as good as people that play these games, but I enjoy playing them and now I want to enjoy testing it in VR. So hopefully you'll enjoy it too. I'm setting it up as immersive screen, but you see the flickers, the flickers happen again because of the 3D. If I took the 3D to zero, the 3D strength to zero, now it's on two, you will not see it. Again, I don't mind playing it like this. Um, and by the way, the flickers only happen on this screen. It doesn't happen in gameplay. Okay, let's do free flight. What free flight is, is basically uh, some sort of uh, training. And because I don't want to go online with this, I don't want to be banned. I'm not sure if I can be banned because Vorpex, after all, it's kind of like a cheat. It goes, it injects itself into the game and some devs don't like it. And I've had my fair share with being banned from Microsoft Xbox. I had to buy a new Xbox 360 back in the day. And I don't, I don't feel like being banned again, especially no, not when the game is like that nice. So we have three classes on this beta. There's another one coming when I think in full version. And I think that the full version will come out in somewhere in April, so it's about a month, but you can still have a beta test for a month. So we have the Marauder, I guess the name is. This class is basically fight, fight, fight. Uh, wind guard, like the name, she guards, they guard, those the, that class guard. And Phantom, Phantom is basically uh, stealthy and it can hide if you hit a certain button, which is why it will basically it will go into transparent mode so other dragons will not see it. 
I like using mar Marauder. How would you pronounce it? Marauder, I guess. Okay, let's try this. On to Frost Bolts. Let's start. Free Flight. Press A to play. Hey, it rhymes. Hey. Press A to play. So this is what the game looks like. It looks good. I love this acceleration. That you can accelerate and you can touch the water ever so slightly and go up. It's amazing. And the fact that it's 3D, it just superb. Now, did you see that little red dragon that was kind of like fire? Okay, there's an enemy there. So once the the aim is turning green, that means that we're locked. Not yet? Didn't kill it yet? Okay. Okay. Killed it. So it's kind of like a... Um, you know, like a flight simulator or... Oh my god. But now we're not f flying an airplane. We're flying a drag. How cool is that? It's basically how to train a dragon, but in this, uh, the graphics is just a. Oh, there's an enemy again. Okay, let's go and get it. As you can see, the enemy doesn't really do anything, it's just flying around. Okay. I can't accelerate right now because I need to cool off. My dragon is tired. Let's go to the elevator. This is the elevator. Whoosh. Pulls me all the way up. And I like taking a little bit of spears so that my... the rider can kill the dragon. So, where are you? There it is. Let's follow it. I'm following you. That was narrow path. Narrow path for me to cross. Oh, it would be cool if we can land the dragon as well. Maybe in the full version, I'm not sure. Ooh. Love this. I really love this. I really, really do. Okay. I don't have a spear anymore, but we'll try and catch it or kill it come on come out come out so you can see this little shield that means that it shows me where the dragon is okay i'm hitting it he just needs a little bit more this is ally this is fred my friend it's a good dragon ready ready to be Could have, could have hit him one more time. Where is he going? I should have. I mean, I should chase it. And not just uh, stay in one spot. Part of the fun is like the flying. But I want to kill it first. Okay, let's go. You can breathe fryer, of course. You're a dragon. Ooh. That is so good looking. The game is just... Cool off, cool off, because we're going to chase the dragon now. 
Come out. Come out, little dragon. Come out so that we can... Yeah, there you go. Come on. Got it. Takes him a long time to cool off. Look at that. The sun is just shining on the water. Okay. That looks good. Let's get another spear. That acceleration is just amazing in the headset. Just so good. So satisfying. Because it, everything is like f flying around me. Everything is moving fast around me. The speed is just amazing. So I joined the Discord of this game once I got accepted to the beta. And I've sent a question about to the devs about... Um, getting a version or getting a support for VR and guess what people I was not the only one who asked that question um, I still didn't get any answer about this but um, I'll keep checking because this game has to be supported in VR it just it's it's a crime if it's not it, it's just the way it looks the way it feels Okay, my, my fire is still chasing this dragon and killed it. I really hope that we're gonna see a support for VR for this game. Especially if you can play it in if you play it in co-op. We can go explore some of the pathways here in the tunnels. Whoa! Amazing. Just amazing. Like those walls are just Flying right here. They're right here. Love this so much. That ooh. Gotta catch it. No elevator. Don't use the elevator when you're chasing. Not all the time, I mean. <gasps> oh. ah. Hitting a wall is not fun. Especially in VR. Oh, to the sun, to, to the light. Okay, I have a spear. Let's catch this guy. Come on, stop cooling off. I need some speed now. Here, cool off in the water. Cool off in the water, my friend. Oh, the scale is crazy. Those rocks are huge. Where are you? No? Well, those bangs, that means that it hits something. My fire hit something. Not sure if it hit the dragon. But I'm gonna catch him again. I promise you that, people. I'm gonna catch this dragon again. Maybe... Maybe now? Yes, now. You know what? Now. I did. Nice. 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 Okay. That was awesome. When I flew down towards the rocks, the rock was like 3D coming towards me. 
and it's something that you can't really see on the screen because what you see for you it's 2d which is probably what it i mean that's exactly what it is but for me i have that distance i have that um uh, oh. i have that uh, um parallax feel that what's close what's far away and i i have the depth and everything like the field of view is amazing and it just works really really nice so if one of the developers watches this and sees this please consider or please let's have a conversation about this because this is amazing what you guys have, are working on what you guys are doing it's just breathtaking like i know what it takes to create all that stuff i know that the amount of work and how what you guys are doing is just on top of that it's extremely fun and satisfying to play and those sounds are amazing too by the way okay let's go and check a different class should we do the guard let's do the phantom first start so you're gonna see that the dragon oh yelling you're gonna see that the dragon is different i like the shape it's got this like bat bat like wings which is kind of awesome okay let's chase this guy I'm sorry, little dragon. I miscalculated the speed and where I was in space. I'm addicted to that speed. Just addicted to it. Because it's, it's so satisfying to fly like this. Ah, too far. I was too far. Oh, that the glitter, the glimmering sun on the water is just amazing. So if I press the Y button, you'll see that my dragon and the rider, they go kind of transparent, like glass almost. Got it. We did it. We killed the enemy. There was something here that I wanted to fly through. Yay. Oh, nice in 3D. It's just amazing. M A Zing. The depth. The depth is so good. Yeah, the field of view has to be tweaked. Otherwise, I wouldn't have that sensation. The depth of everything going in and going out. It's just amazing. So, let's see the other class. The third one, the guard, the wind guard. It looks really good. Looking forward to see what the fourth one is. So all the controllers are the same, it's just the weapons or the fire shooting is different. Ooh, look at, listen to that. Okay, I see the trail, so that means that you're already here. Do you mind if I, do you mind if I kind of come and catch you? Ooh. This one is a little bit bigger and heavier, maybe. It sounds older, too. Wow, that was... The elevator took me up while I was chasing.
Oh, ally. My dragon is tired. Needs to cool down. So we'll explore as we do it. I see you. Totally see you. I mean, I saw you. Come out. Come out. Come out so I can... Oh. Wow. We have Y, we have A, and we have B. There it is. I was locked. I will breathe fire on you, little dragon. My writer, I'm going to have to ask you to please grab this and let's, uh, let's finish the job. You and I. Ah, oh, the animation. So, surprisingly enough... It's not uh, giving me any. It's not giving me any headaches or or any dizziness or any any weird feelings. Even though it's it's fast moving and you know that the whole environment is basically changing and moving, it's actually very very smooth and kind of comfortable. Maybe also because it's a flat screen. I mean, it's immersive screen. It's not flat. I take it back. It's not flat at all. Um, but maybe because it's a, it's an immersive screen and not a full room scale VR. Then my my brain is kind of grounded. But I've had my uh, experience. Okay, killed it. So. Oh, I love that sound. I love that this one's growl and by the way, if you go too far from the environment, it gives you nine seconds to go back. Otherwise, what happens is you basically kill yourself. It's like uh, you killed yourself. You are dead. So this is the game. I hope you guys like it. I I surely love it. I really do. So Guys, good luck on your uh, Vorpex um, give up, giveaway, and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video. Thank you guys so much, and stay safe and stay healthy until this whole charade of COVID leaves us and we can go back to normal life. Love you all, appreciate you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.